Hey, hello there, Aries. Welcome to your weekly prediction. This week's card reading covers July 22nd to the 28th of 2018. This is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you. I can answer your more specific questions when you book a reading. Just go ahead and send me an email. Thank you. There are free readings every week. To enter to win, press that notification bell and comment, then you're automatically entered to win a reading. I have shuffled, meditated over, and blessed this reading just for you, Aries. Your first card, it's the basis of the matter. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background of the question for this week. It is the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. That is some new information that has come in about money. This is earth energy coming in. It could be a person, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Or it could be someone, or you, and your attitude suggests that you desire money. You're definitely goal-oriented, and there's good news. There is a worldly ambition, and there's maybe even a message about your ambitions. This is a possible student they have respect for learning. They're fascinated and they're absorbed and there's introspection going on. This person moves slowly. They're patient. They're curious and they're eager to learn. There is interest. It could be a child or it could indicate a new job coming or a new investment. But this is an unexpected starting point. Your second card, it's the energy that's crossing over your path. It's the immediate future, occurring now. The death card, number 13 of the Rider Waite deck. It's a major change. Number 13, the death card. It stands for change and renewal. There's going to be transformation. There's first destruction and then renewal. There's an ending, and then new life, and new opportunities. There's something you need to release, and it may be painful. There needs to be a transition. You need to let go of something, and you need to look for a new path. There could be a change in a job, or a relationship, or a long-standing belief. But it is a new chapter in your life, maybe even a new idea. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. What a great way to be affected. The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups stands for a happy home life. Happy home and happy family. You're content. There's lasting happiness because it's inspired from above. It's perfected human love. It's true love, and it's better than you could have expected. It's embarking on something that makes life worth living. So take time to be grateful because this is divine love and blessings. Your fourth card, it's the future outcome. It's the results, the advice, and how to respond. Another page, the page of cups. The page of cups. This brings in water energy if it's a person, it could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces, or it could be a message, a message about love. It could be engagement or a wedding. It's something involves emotional risk, and it's expressing emotion, and you will be finding out where you stand. You feel like things are going to work out. This could be the birth of a child or psychic ability begins to emerge. It has to do with thoughts and dreams. There's successful wishing and manifesting. There's new insights and being sensitive. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's what's unseen or underlying the issue. The Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles 
means you're in a good position concerning your income and outflow of money. Others are going to share with you justly. Good things are coming to you and going out from you. It's the pay it back card. It's also advice not to be too proud to accept help. Remember, what goes around comes around. Thank you so much, Aries. Thank you for your wonderful comments and validations and subscribes. I am extremely grateful. I really am. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So keep it positive. Love and light. Thank you.